Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel here at Your Path for Adult Learners, where we provide 24-7 online GED and high set preparation courses for adults that are seeking to earn their high school credential. To learn more about our program, you can visit our website at www.yourpathforadultlearners.com. So on today's Focus on the Test mini lesson, I will be reviewing a question that will resemble what you'll see on your actual test. So let us get started. The Compromise of 1850 consists of five laws passed in September of 1850 that dealt with the issue of slavery. In 1849, California requested permission to enter the Union as a free state, potentially upsetting the balance between the free and slave states in the U.S. Senate. Senator Henry Clay introduced a series of solutions on January 29, 1850, in an attempt to seek a compromise and avert a crisis between North and South. As part of the Compromise of 1850, the Fugitive Slave Act was amended and the slave trade in Washington, D.C. was abolished. Furthermore, California entered the Union as a free state and a territorial government was created in Utah. In addition, an act was passed settling a boundary dispute between Texas and New Mexico that also established a territorial government in New Mexico. Here's what a test item may look like. According to the map, which of the following two were declared slave states? And here you have your five options. You have option one, Ohio and Kentucky, two, Iowa and Missouri, three, Alabama and Georgia, four, California and Texas, and five, Pennsylvania and Virginia. Need your high school diploma? Your Path for Adult Learners offers 24-7 online GED and high set preparation courses for adults that are seeking to earn their high school credential. Learn more about our program at yourpathforadultlearners.com. So now in order to answer questions that are asking you to read and interpret a map, you want to make sure that you familiarize yourself with your map key and then to be able to apply your map key to your map in order to understand what it is your map is trying to convey. So how do we do that? So when we look at the map key here, we see that this map key is clearly color coded. So here we have green, but now we need to understand what it is that green represents in terms of what's displayed on our map here, okay? And green is all of this section here. So now, according to our map key, green represents those states and territories that were declared free. And then when we look at the color yellow, which is all of this area here, according to our map key, we see that these states and territories were actually declared slave states and territories. And then when we look at the color rust, which is this area here on the map, we see that according to our map key, it is telling us that these areas were opened to slavery by principle of popular sovereignty. So now that you have read your map key, and then you examine your map according to your map key so that you can understand what it is your map is telling you, you then want to go back to your question, reread your question, and then look at your options. And you want to apply your map key and information from your map to your question. So now let's do that. According to the map, which of the following two were declared slave states? You want to take note of the key terms in the question. So here we have two slave states. 
So we know that we are looking for two states that were declared slaves. So now we can look at our options. And when we come to option number one, we have Ohio and Kentucky. So now we want to identify those two states on our map. And when we identify Ohio, we have it here. And when we identify Kentucky, we have it here. Now we see that according to our map key, that Ohio is green. And so therefore it represents a free state. Kentucky is yellow representing a slave state. However, both are not slave states. And so in terms of our answering our question, we're going to eliminate option number one because it does not apply. So now when we look at option number two, we have Iowa and Missouri. And when we identify Iowa on the map, we have it here. And when we identify Missouri on the map, we have it here. Once again, we see Iowa is located in the green section of the map, whereas Missouri is located in the yellow section of the map, green representing a free state, yellow representing a slave state. However, both are not slave states, and so we're going to eliminate option number two as well. When we look at option number three, we have Alabama and Georgia. So now we're going to identify these two states on our map. And when we do so, we have Alabama here and Georgia here. And we see that both of these states are located in the yellow section of our map, indicating that both are slave states. And so therefore, in terms of answering our question, which again reads, according to the map, which of the following two were declared slave states, we know that option number three is the correct choice according to our map key and map. And so therefore, we are going to eliminate options number four and five because they do not apply. So thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and watch out for more videos to come your way. Remember, you can learn more about our 24-7 online GED and high set preparation courses by visiting our website at www.yourpathforadultlearners.com.